Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday, boys, and today is a huge day on FIFA. I want to talk about what's going on with the market because we are in another market crash currently with a lot of cards going down in price heading out of the weekend, probably falling even more today. And also, it's Sunday, so that means upgrade packs, maybe some other huge content because as of right now, Bundesliga team of the season is looking really good. It's looking like we're getting caliber, the caliber of content we saw last week during La Liga. We're getting two player SPCs every day so far. And if today is anything like last Sunday, it's gonna be pretty hype. So I'm thinking guaranteed today for sure, we're getting the upgrade SPCs, maybe even more icon player SBCs. That's something we could be seeing today as well. So I'll talk about all of that and what's going on with the market because we are inside of another market crash inside of this game, specifically in the defensive part of cards on this game because of the Tapsoba and Lazaro SBCs that were released yesterday because these are good value and this dude right here is basically breaking the meta. We have a pacey center back now in this game. So I'll talk about that and why you're seeing the market move in specific ways. But again, you guys don't need me to show you this. A lot of prices on this game are down. That's the biggest point of the day. Whether it's team of the season cards that are in packs, like some of these Bundesliga Tots. Holland yesterday, I sold at one point. Uh, 01 million coins. He was like 1.1 mil yesterday on Saturday at his, at his peak. He is down to 745, which is crazy, crazy low. So I'm going to be looking at this card because that just might be too cheap. Muller was 500k yesterday at his at his peak. He's down to 360. Uh, Coleman was over 400k for most of the day. He is down. I mean, Sancho is down as well. A lot of these cards, some of them actually went up. Davies was 500k. He went back up to 545. Now, the Bundesliga Tots, they're, they're fluctuating, but if you look at the rest of the market in total, too, a tall 460,000 coins. Kent is 200K. Raheem Sterling, 815,000 coins. You look at La Liga team of the seasons, Messi is down like 400,000 coins. De Young is down a couple hundred K. Varan, huge, huge drop off today in this game. Now he's actually bounced back up from where he was, but this card was literally down 700,000 coins at one point. He was 2.7 mil all the way down to 2.09 at a very low point after the panic selling because of Tap Soba and just people selling this card. He did bounce back up to 2-3 and is now in the 2-2 range coming back down, but a huge, huge drop on Varane today. And if you look at some of the other team of the season cards too, Community Tots and Prem Tots are getting destroyed. I mean, Hyunmin Sun, 1.3 mil. Salah is on 900,000 coins and under. Rashford's 2.7. Uh, Bruno Fernandez was 2.5 mil yesterday. He's now 2.1. Even on the lower tier, right? Cancelo is 300K. That's down almost cut in half. Ruben Diaz, 275. So crazy, crazy drop-offs on a lot of these cards. And this is, again, what I want to mention. That Tapsoba card today really hurt the center-back market and the right and left-back market as well because you have this Juan Basaka who was at 1.900 thousand coins. He was like 575, I think. He, he might have even been 550 at one point today during the panic selling. Yeah, 532. Oh my goodness, he's back up to 580. So a lot of people today went out and they did this Tap Soba SBC. I mean, just take a look at the hype on this card. 4,500 upvotes on this Tap Soba. And I think Lazaro has a lot of upvotes too. A lot of people are comparing this guy to basically Mbabu, except he's got five star skills. Maybe not as great defensively as Mbabu. I think Mbabu has more physical and maybe more defense. But 86 shooting, 91 dribbling. I mean, this doesn't just have to be a right back for your team. High, high work rates. This guy can basically play anywhere on the pitch. So very versatile card with this Lazaro, only 100,000 coins and going to be very, very craftable. I know he doesn't have the greatest links, um, but you know, Bundesliga back lines are about to be in style once again in this game, uh, especially with this Tap Soba. A lot of people are saying this Amiri card is very, very good. The objective Amiri that is able to be claimed through squad battles. I'm hearing a lot of good things about this card with the five-star skills that he has uh, and that he only takes a few games to grind through squad battles to get. So a lot of people are linking Tapsoba, Amiri, and Lazaro together in a little bit of a triangle, I believe, uh, as well as some of your other Bundesliga links, right? So I want to take a look at the center back market again, but a lot of stuff is going down. It's probably going to go down a little bit more today because, again, the way this game is right now, we're getting more SBCs that are being released, right? We've had four four player SBCs in the past two days, I would not be surprised if we had another one today, right? And they're putting out cool and like hyped up players too, right? Tap Soba is a card who got a future stars this year with a lot of strength that a lot of people like to use. This card is basically like Mbabu was and they upgraded the skill moves to five star, which is dope. 
Douglas Costa is a big name. Max Cruz, you know, it's a cool card, right? Um, but we've had good SBCs so far. I think that's going to continue. And that's why I'm really saying this is looking a lot like uh, La Liga team of the season last week. But if that's the case, this market's already broke. The, the selling is going to continue today. You're going to see prices continuing to drop on the market today. Now, one place that I would be watching on the market today are your Bundesliga specials because uh, yes, these guys are getting low and yes, you could be worried about possible SBCs coming out during the week in the same position as some of these Bundesliga specials that might hurt their value. But I mean, some of these cards have dropped off a decent amount out of the weekend league and they're going to become more popular for people to, do, to use as they buy up and make Bundesliga teams. I'm especially watching this Gunter card, man, because this guy was down to 35k earlier today and I think that was a little bit too cheap. I know we have the Rusillian card that is in objectives, um, but this guy has German links, which I think think in itself uh and of course this this card having five star skills i don't know how you know of course meta that is but people just love skills in this game and he's got 95 pace so for thirty-five thousand coins uh i still think this card's going to be a decent he was fifty thousand coins uh last week before the team came out so i'm still kind of watching this guy as a potential investment for this week um and i think some of these bundesliga special cards that are going to be hyped up they could get kind of low today. So if you wanted to put your coins into anything, that's kind of what I would say. If you want to make more of a riskier move, that's what I would maybe get into. Uh, you know, even like this Mbabu card, right? 195,000 coins. This guy is still hype, right? He is still a very hyped up card, even though we've had, you know, the um, Lazaro come out. People are still going to use this Mbabu. Uh, so I would keep an eye on this, especially as we head on through the week, uh, just to kind of make that known. And, you know, once again, once you have this LaCroix card, who, by the way, this card, again, Again, I'm going to sit here and tell you is not worth 500k. You can see he's come back onto the market on Xbox. I think on PlayStation, he's going to come back onto the market today and he's going to drop down to around the 400k range because yes, this card has a lot of hype. His price is going to continue to fluctuate when he gets back on the market. Uh, but this, this dude, unless he is unimaginably cracked in game, uh, I, this is like the card stats to me just do not look that good. And I think Tapsoba is is better than this LaCroix card. So the fact that this Tapsoba SBC is only 260K and this guy is extinct at 500 just again does not make sense to me. So I'm going to sit here and tell you again today that if you have LaCroix, you got to get him out because he's definitely not going to go too much higher. Now, one thing I would keep in mind too is this Yuri Berchiche card, right? Some of your really meta La Liga cards that have absolutely exploded. I mean, this guy was like 170K. On, uh, on Thursday at his peak, he's down to 115. People are still going to be using La Liga links uh, with some green links. They're going to try to put together some Bundesliga hard links, strong links, and then some La Liga stuff as well. So if you're watching the market today, that's sort of the areas that I would be watching. And of course, like we saw with that Varan, right? You see a lot of prices that just get really, really, really low. Then they bounce back just because of, uh, you know, that card getting too cheap and, and too much undercutting and too much panic selling. Now, it's hard to actually find and time that perfect moment uh, of, of when a card gets too low versus when it's going to bounce back. It's very hard to time that. But if you do want to trade with some of that today, I think there are going to be some movements on the market that you will be able to take advantage of and watch and uh, make some coins off of today on Sunday as we see the market continue to fall off. Now, icons as well are getting absolutely drilled. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about fodder and again, the content that we'll see today. But icons are just definitely dropping down. As you take a look at a lot of these cards individually, uh, a lot of your icons are just getting sold off and sold off and sold off and they're dropping down a bunch. Just a normal weekly sell off, but it's a little extra this weekend because people don't have coins and we're getting good SBCs. So people are selling those cards to get those coins on this game. So just be careful if you're trying to trade today. If we continue to get insane content this week, I really don't know if today is going to be the lowest day. I feel like there might be cards that continue to drop down uh, on this market because you know stuff is just going to continue to get lower, in my opinion, uh, if today we have more insane content. And Sundays are historically insane days for content on this game. So let's talk about what could be coming today. Now, of course, we are going to be getting upgrade packs today, right? Sunday is upgrade pack day. And you have people that are still investing in rare golds um, on this market that are, you know, buying them up for like 900 coins. I really do not think this is a good idea. Um, I think these cards are going to be over invested in. So be very, very careful 
if you're investing in rare golds. Um, I don't think they're going to go up that much this week. I know that the Bundesliga team has got some really nice cards in it, and there's going to be people that want to craft upgrades this week and open those upgrade packs, myself included. Um, but I really, really don't think that those gold rares are going to go that high. I think they're really over-invested, and that's going to keep their prices lower this week. But we should see the Bundesliga premium upgrade pack released today alongside of that 81 plus Bundesliga player. Now that was a code that Footwatch tweeted uh, earlier this past week uh, was they tweeted out a code that a 81 plus Bundesliga player was in uh, the work. So I think that might be our lower tier upgrade, which could be pretty cool, right? Now, also, they've been releasing player picks. So hopefully they release that 81 plus player pick as well, because that could be a cracked uh, pack that we see this week. And if those type of upgrade packs come out today, if we do get insane content, that's just going to push the market even lower today. It's going to be crazy. The price drops that you see again, you might think, man, people have no coins. They've already sold their cards. There's going to be even more price drops and more undercutting if you do see those upgrade packs coming out today in FIFA. Now, also we'll talk about icons because one thing that uh, Footwatch tweeted out this last week was the upgraded, um, there was a, a new group that was added, a, basically a new requirement for SPCs, which could be, and some people are starting to throw out some names of maybe like a, um, a I think it was an Eto potential SBC. Now, I, I wouldn't go out and sell those cards if you had them. I really don't know if these leaks are accurate or not, or if they're leaks at all, or if it's just hearsay. But uh, it seems like EA is, is starting to kind of turn you know, turn the meter up in terms of the icon SBCs that we are going to continually be getting. We had three last week with Kentanon, Desai, and Raul. And if they're adding that new code or that new group, I guess, that would require team of the week, team of the season, or foot champions player, kind of has, as you see down here below me, uh, all three of those, that could mean another high value SBC could be coming out. Uh, so we'll see if that happens today as well. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm expecting for today's content. Maybe some sort of pack SBC as well. I mean, last Sunday, I mean, you guys remember, I'm going to pull the tweet up uh, from last Sunday for myself because, I mean, the content that we got was unbelievable. Um, it, it was seriously, seriously, seriously unbelievable. We had the 85 times 5 pack as well. I mean, this is what I tweeted out last Sunday. SBC content galore. We had a cheap Rajic SBC, Cantona, Desai, Raul, 85 times 5, and the upgrades, right? So insane insane and by the way we called that 80 plus player pick last week it was going to be cracked how many of you guys got Messi or de young or veron last week like a ridiculous amount now i didn't but still if we see a player pick this week that is guaranteed bundesliga it's going to be cracked too player picks this year are just insane so that's the kind of day we could be seeing today on fifa and that's why i think the market could continue to drop off a little bit more. Now, yesterday in all the panic selling, we did make some trades. I bought this Henri for 1.94. I actually sold him a little early because he ended up going uh, back around 2.2 mil. So I had, you know what, we made about 60K after that flip, but that was a card that was selling at 2.2 earlier in the morning. Yeah, see right now he's about 2.15. 2.17 and uh, he dropped down around the 2 mil range. I got an undercut at 1.94 and was able to flip that card. Same thing with the Moments Torres that I flipped yesterday as well. So I bought this for 1.23, sold it at 137, bought this at 1.94, sold at 2.1. So some nice flips and nice profit there. Of course, I bought a Holland last night at 920K, sold that at 1.01. Of course, he's now down to 700,000 coins. So that is the trance list right there. I've got one lone man of the match Conte because those man of the matches went out of packs yesterday as well. So one thing I want to look at right now, this is just going to kind of turn into a little bit of live trading right here, is I'm going to check the supply on the Holland because these cards are still super duper mega rare. And this Holland card is 730,000 coins. And we only have a couple cards into the higher 700. So I know that this card is not the most meta. He didn't get a weak foot or skill move upgrade, but it's Erling Holland, and he's 900K still on the Xbox, which is crazy. So let's take a look at his hourly graph. Did this guy really drop off that much today? He, he went up to 1.09. He uh, around the content drop, he was 880. He's kind of been under 800K for the past, you know, he's been under the 800K for like the past hour and a half or so. So I might keep a look on this Holland card, and if I see this hit into the 600s, I might get really interested because I think that this card is going to bounce back up around the high 700s. Even though the market's falling, people are still trying out these new cards. They're going to see that this card price has dropped so much. So we might have potential to kind of trade around with that card today. And the one thing I also want to make you guys aware of is just some of the stuff that went on with the Tapsoba SBC being released. 
we had so many of the Bundesliga backline cards move today. This Neuer was like 150,000 coins. He shot up to 250k um, just based off of people switching up their back lines for Bundesliga. You had Alfonso Davies, who was around 500,000 coins at the content drop, uh, went all the way up to like 580k. Right now, he's around 560. So he's still high. These Bundesliga Tots cards are still super duper duper rare, and they're going to stay that way, which is going to make trading with them like even better uh, coming out through this week. So that's just kind of something to focus on. But again, a lot of your Bundesliga uh, special cards, after I check this Muller, I want to check some of the other ones. Okay, this Muller at 360 was a pretty big undercut. He's actually not there. He's 372. But, uh, you know, team of the season, David Alaba, is somebody that a lot of people looked at today. This guy was panic sold right away when the SBCs came out, right down to 900,000 coins. He then bounced back to about 950. With these Bundesliga center backs, this is what I'm going to say, right? This Alloa card is very rare. I think he might get low again later this week, but then he's probably going to bounce back because if you think about all the links that are in Bundesliga team of the season, it's all about the German links and it's all about the Bayern links, right? Now, this Klosterman is another one that was very hyped up. There's a lot of center backs in the Bundesliga. Do these guys bounce back? I think they do. Tapsoba is out for a few days, but you're not going to very easily link Tapsoba unless you have other German cards or not German Bundesliga cards in your back line. So, you know, your hyped ones like Mbabu, um, this Klosterman, I would I would dare to say, is, is pretty hyped as well. Uh, and especially with people maybe opening upgrade packs and doing objectives and SBCs as they switch towards, you know, more Bundesliga and German linked up players, especially Leipzig, right? Uh, Klosterman, there's a lot of Leipzig links that you could get with him, um, not necessarily from cards that are in team of the season because we don't we only have Angelino and Sabitzer but those are two links that Klosterman gets so you know I would I would still think that some of your most meta um, Bundesliga center backs could still rebound back with probably Alaba making the top of my list but also this Oop McConnell card man because this Oop McConnell headliners card is right around 100,000 coins he's got the French links too which gives him an extra edge on some of those other cards I know LaCroix is extinct um at the moment, that card's going to be one to watch too. But again, you had so many center backs today that got destroyed. It even affected like um, this Jordi Alba, right? Jordi Alba was up at 500,000 coins because of all of the hype with the Barcelona links uh, and stuff that happened just last week with the La Liga team of the season. And this guy's down at 430,000 coins. So the whole market is selling off and the whole market is, is losing value right now. But the left backs, right backs, and center backs in this game are losing it at a very faster rate uh, because, you know, people are switching up their back lines to put in this guy by the name of Tap Soba. I mean, Inform Kyle Walker today, we were looking at that one too. Inform Kyle Walker was like 370,000 coins. I don't know if he's still there or not. That was like really, really cheap. Um, but that's a very, very meta card. That is down a lot. How much is he right now? Is he back up at all? He's three. Wow. Expiring at 359. Not even getting bought. That's crazy uh, how low this card has gotten. You, you just go to see. It just goes to show how some cards just kind of fall out of favor as brand new ones come up in this game. So that's kind of the way of the market today, man. I would be very careful if you're trading. There are going to be meta cards, icons, and things like that that will move around on the market. 1.3 mil flat for Neymar. Wow, that's down a lot. Uh, you know, Garincha is down a bunch because of the main man, Douglas Costa, being an SBC. I mean, this Puchkas at 790, he was like 765 earlier today. This Garincha was under 600K for a minute. He's still there. Wow. So yeah, watch some of these cards because they could rebound back in a couple weeks, but also uh, they're just losing a lot of value. I mean, this this Ronaldinho was 2.4 million coins at the peak during Prem Tots. He's now 2 mil. Uh, Zidane is 1.15. That is down a lot. Inform Ronaldo was like 1.5 two weeks ago, and now he's like 1.1 mil. So crazy drops in that card too. We could just go on and on looking at all these price drops because... There's a ton of them, right? There's a ton of price drops that are out there right now. So it's crazy to look at, crazy to watch, and kind of get involved in. But uh, there's still going to be moves on the market, right? There's still going to be panic selling. Watch those rare meta out-of-packs cards, specifically from the Bundesliga, if any of those get sold off today, or icons as well. Icons always fly under the radar in this game. They really do. Um, so I would seriously watch on really some big-time panic. You know, even on some of your German icons, right? Uh, like middle long. This mid lam card is one that, you know, moved up a decent amount this weekend. He's still very rare, 395. You know, watch for undercuts on this this weekend. This could be a good card to trade with, with those German links. 
as people are building Bundesliga squads and putting stuff together. But one thing I will say today is uh, SBC fodder is on the up and up. And I will leave you guys with one quick little tip uh, for investing on this video right now. And that is going to be 84 rated informs and 86 rated informs because we have a couple cards right now that are pretty cheap uh Kramrich is in this week's team of the week and so is Rakitic um but also you have some guys that are 84s last week when we had all those SBCs that came out we had a couple 84 informs that were in the team of the week go from like 11 12,000 11,000 coins basically discard all the way up to like 15 16k at their peak so I think this Da Silva Laborde Liebold I mean German links right now for this Liebold card I know he's out of packs He's been on an absolute ride recently, but last week he was 11K, went up to 16,000 coins. If you can get this guy on bid, basically a discard, 11,000 coins for these 84s in forms would be fantastic because I think we're going to get more SBCs this week that are going to push those up in price. Same thing with the, the 86 in forms too, that these could go back above 30,000 coins. So cram rich around the 20K range, like try to get these on bid for like 18K. Um, if there is not a lot of content today on Sunday, if they, if they pull it back for a day today, then those might be a play as we head into the week. We'll have squad battle rewards. And that's one thing about today on Sunday is that we will have a decent amount of supply from the packs on squad battle rewards because everybody started icon swaps last week. So a lot of those rewards are going to get paid out and they've been grinding. So a lot of those rewards are going to get paid out tonight on Sunday night on this game. So that's just kind of something to kind of keep in mind. You might see a little bit of supply then, but it is Sunday, and that means upgrade packs day. That means potentially icon SBCs and big time content in this game of FIFA. So I'm excited to start ripping some packs. Hopefully, snag one of these big boy team of the seasons, and uh, also finish off my weekend league. I'm five and three, and have no motivation. So I'm gonna get my 11 wins, and hopefully get a cheeky red that is an insane pull. So also tomorrow, Monday, Liga Nos. Liga Noz, I guess, however some people say it. I'm not I'm not Portuguese, so I'm not saying it correctly. But Liga Noz is going to be the next secondary league that will be coming out. So maybe some juice cards with that. We'll be seeing that on Monday tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about that more in the Market Outlook video that will be coming uh, tomorrow as well. So that's the video for today, boys. Happy Sunday. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.